it's a new beginning. This is comforting. We're already going through enough, like when we're in active addiction, that if there's a fear there, then it just may not end up the way we want it to. And this brings a whole new light. The grand opening of this new facility is really a, an amazing milestone in the transformation of this organization. So five years ago when I joined the board, none of our buildings even had signs on them. They were in some ways reinforcing the stigma that people that suffer from opioid addiction have. And today we have this beautiful new facility with a 10 foot sign on Main Street in New Britain. There are a number of studies that speak to the fact that your environment where you get your care impacts your recovery, no matter what the disease uh, is. It doesn't have to be just about addiction. This is a facility that looks like people care. It's clean, it's bright, it's open. I think that sends a signal to people that they're important and the process is important. It is such a much more positive environment to recover in, you know, in comparison to our old building. You know, recovery is recovery, not saying like, of course it happened in our old building, but this new building is just, I'm gonna say positive vibes. When a facility that is welcoming and beautiful as this is opened, those that need treatment, I think, are more motivated to come in for that treatment, right? This is not a facility that anyone would hesitate to bring their family to, to get better. We have tremendous support in this community from the mayor, Mayor Aaron Stewart, uh, some of the representatives, and, and just a number of great organizations in this community. Nonprofits really make it through through the, the kindness of others and the support of others. I got to know the Root Center five years ago, and I thought, you know, Root really provided one-on-one -on -one care that was uh, effective and impactful, and uh, so I, I thought they really needed needed support to try to save people, like the, the young lady who testified. She was pulled from death's door to being a productive member, so I mean, that was a heartfelt, amazing story. I think of our board. You know, they have the want, as, just as much as I do, to be able to put something like this together. So with their support, really, this is how this came to fruition. There was universal support for this moving forward from the very first time it was mentioned at the Root Center Board of Directors meeting. I lost a lot of people, and I felt like with all that loss that we can have a new beginning with a new building with more options more accessibility. This new facility has about 3,000 square feet that we're not even using yet because we plan to expand our services even further in the years ahead. We realize that our patients have uh, very eclectic needs. We feel like the, the, the growth is just a start. Uh, this facility has a tremendous opportunity to be able to grow. This building means so much to me in so many ways because it's a new beginning for recovery. It's a new beginning for the surrounding neighborhood, for the surrounding towns, it's just, this doesn't look like a clinic, it doesn't look like a prison, it doesn't look like a facility of the bad people. This looks like another place where people come to get help. We're very proud, our patients are proud, our staff. When you think about doing the work that they do, uh, which is very arduous, uh, as you saw from many of them on uh, the front row today crying as they heard one of their own patients speak. We wanted to give them an environment that they felt proud of to be able to do their treatment in on a daily basis. So this was just a success in every single way imaginable.